everyone, this is SPHN coming to you with a how-to video. Alright, you must have seen my video on how to use a message box in Excel and allow it to populate uh, the, some, some, some of the cells and help to track um, some records as well. If you have not yet seen this video, then please go ahead and check out Say No to Do's and Don'ts, easy way to enter data on my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create this message box and what is the uh, lines behind it, how to get this done and how to get the cells populated as well. So let's get it started. Alright, so um the re so what happens is if you click on this drop and click on reschedule supposed to get this message box right uh, and how to actually get this done in excel well if you have to develop a tab go to the developer tab and click on visual basic okay you can see lots of lines of code over here but don't worry it is very simple just like in normal english language all right i'm going to take you through it step by step you need to get this done on the change event of the worksheet that is if anything changes on the worksheet this needs to happen so first thing that you will go and do is go over here select worksheet and change the event to change change the event to change well yeah so uh, when you do that you this will automatically uh, get populated all right and the first line of code here it says if target dot column is equals to 18 now what 18 is um, actually represents is the column number okay so um, if I just go back to the Excel yeah so this R represent is the uh, 18 is this column it is referring to this column number to do actually this column okay so each of the columns in excel is represented by uh, letters but if you uh, go to do some coding in B, 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 A, you will need to um, make sure that you reference it by a number so a is one b is two and things like that so r is 18 over here okay and target dot value is equals to reschedule so basically it's like normal english like if this cell if anything in this column is change changes to rescheduled then perform a set of action all right so this is what it does if target dot column is equals to 18 if the column that is being changed is this column and the value is rescheduled if this value is changed to rescheduled all right then what you do is you i'm here i'm declaring certain variables to store uh, values i hope you know what variables are if you want me to explain to you um what they are then please comment below and i will make a video on it okay so temp schedule as date okay so this it means this variable is going to store value in date format and s date is going to store value in string format and so on okay now what i'm going to do is here i'm taking uh, the variable and changing the format of the value which will be stored in this into ddmm yyy because that is how i want it to be you can put any format that you want all right now in this variable schedule if you see it's storing date value i need to i'm going to store the value of the assessment date because i need uh, i want this value to be mentioned over here in the comment if you don't know how this works please refer to my video on do's and don'ts the link will be mentioned in the comments uh, in the description below yeah so i want this date and the previous date what was the previous date what has it has been rescheduled form to be mentioned in the reschedule remarks so i need to store this date somewhere right so this is where i am storing it in schedule i'm storing the value 
Uh, now, what is this target dot offset minus 5? Minus 5 refers to go behind uh, 5 cells. Alright, I'm hiding some cells over here. That's why you will not be able to see. Otherwise, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whatever cells behind you want to go to, you will be storing that date. Okay. And again, for the interview date, it will be minus, uh, yeah, minus value again. Yeah, so estate is equals to format here. I'm uh, in estate. I'm changing the format of the scheduled value which is stored over here. All right, and interview date in date is storing the interview date which is in uh, a column which is three cells behind the behind uh, behind this column. So one, uh, you will not be able to see that exactly because I have hidden some columns. Otherwise, if you see, it will be minus 1 and it will take the interview date uh, value. Alright, so minus means going behind from the current target because all this will be executed only if the target column is 18, only if the target column is the project status. So if you want to go behind, it will be minus 1, 2, 3, 4. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so now what you need to do is store that value, store the dates, which existing dates and um, put it in this column over here, right? So this is the column, it will be column 16 or whatever column number it is according to your Excel, okay? And then you will do target dot offset, okay? And you will mention the value. Okay, so I want to make sure that whatever value is existing in that cell is not gone and it should not override because you can reschedule it three, four, five, six times, right? So whatever is existing, it needs to mention that as well. Okay, so this is what uh, it will take the existing value of that cell and I'm mentioning a comma over here so that it can separate. And L value will take in the today's date, that is the current system date. And uh, it says here rescheduled assessment from. It will take the current assessment date and the interview from the current interview date. So you can mention however you want, whatever text you want, you can mention over there. Okay, and then I'm setting the date cell is equals to target dot offset 0 minus 5. Alright, so it's taking the value from the message box. Now I need to take in the value from the message box. Okay, whatever value is there. So that I need to display that as well, right? And then I'm going to show the FRM dot reschedule dot show is going to show the message box itself. Alright, so um, yeah, uh, I'll show you where how to create this message box. Alright, and um, yeah, so schedule is equals to, uh, okay. Schedule is equals to date value target dot offset zero minus five dot value. What this is doing is this is going to replace this existing cell value, this existing cell value to the one that was mentioned in the message box. Amazing, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to uh, put in this code in the dis uh, description below as well. So don't worry about it. Okay, I hope uh, you were able to understand what this code actually means. It's very simple, like plain simple English. Just use a little bit of logic here and there and you are set to go. Now, how to create a message box from this FRM series schedule.show. So if you just go here, okay, just click on your uh, Excel object and go to insert user form and you'll get a new form. I'm not going to sh create a new one right now. I'll just show you what I had created earlier. Yeah, so this is what I had created earlier. So this is assessment date, interview date, two text boxes, and labels as well, and submit button. So you can take the uh, objects from here. We have the label, we have the text box, we have the button over here, command button. 
okay if you don't have this screen the properties window over here you can go to view and click on properties window and it will get displayed this is very important because you will need to name each and every element object in your form all right so first name is the name of the form frm scheduled okay this is how if you know realize we have referred to to display the form on the excel yeah and then uh, if I click on the text box, I have named the text box as txt date and interviewed a uh, uh, text box as txt end date. Right now, what we do is we go and double click on the submit button. Okay, now we need to do something, there has to be an event or something needs to happen when you click on the submit button. Right, so when you click on it. If you need to first check whether the user has entered date or not or they have just entered some uh, gibberish values or something so if it is not date in normal English if not is date if txt date dot text is not a date or if txt in date dot text is not a date if any of the text boxes does not contain a date a value then display a message saying that enter date in the particular format and try again and it will close all right and then uh, if it is in else means if it is a date value if everything is okay then store this value whatever is value is the txt date dot value in this object date cell and whatever text is there in txt in date value store it in this cell yeah so that is about it over here in the summit now you also need to create a module so if you go to module and you can just go insert create insert a module okay in this module you need to declare some public variables because these variables needs to be accessed by your uh, your form as well as your uh, excel worksheet right so if you just create it in excel worksheet then only the excel worksheet will be able to access these uh, values and if you only create it in the form only the form will be able to access the value but if you create it in the module then all of these sections will be able to access values stored in these variables yeah so that's about it um yeah if you have any questions or if you want me to uh, explain a specific thing within this um, code or or something that you are not able to uh, uh you're not able to get through then please let me know in the comments below and yeah uh, that's about it for now thank you so much don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video.